Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Alex Death Reaper here, uh, bringing some more Diablo 3 news to you. Uh, one thing I wanted to go over today is a system that Blizzard told us about. I think this was back in May. Uh, today I wanted to go over the Rune Stones um, because I think that it's, it's awesome. I mean, I read over this, and these Rune Stones, if you can come in and read about these, um, they add a ton of different um, options and, you know, different class builds can be made simply by these rune stones alone. Um, so here on the Diablo 3 website on their systems page, I'm at, looking at the rune stones, and of course they're telling you, okay, you get 20 skills per class, you can choose up to 7 of those skills to use. Alright, so that's one thing, we get 7 skills, and then with those 7 skills, you can use these five different rune stones, and these rune stones are crimson, indigo, obsidian, golden, and alabaster. Um, and the differences of the rune stones, I believe, let's see, what does it say? Um, in addition to their color, rune stones also come in different ranks of power. The higher rune stones rank, the more dramatic its effect on the skill. So I don't know if this means that Crimson is lowest rank and Alabaster is the highest, or within Crimson, Indigo, Obsidian, Golden, and Alabaster, there are different ranks within each uh, runestone. Um, but anyways, here's let's see. Oh, that's cool. So this is what it's going to look like in game then. So you have uh, zero available skill points. So here's a little toolbar on the side. I wonder what this star is. So this is obviously our skills. I wonder what this star is. And then this is probably your little character tab. But anyways, uh looks like the rank five on Magic Missile, five on Frost Nova. Uh so we're looking at the the wizard. Um Okay, and then you can just add in your rune stones here on the right side. And then oh, that's pretty cool. Level twenty six. Hey, maybe we can secretly figure some things out from this picture alone. Anyways, I don't know, that's pretty interesting, giving you a little shot of uh, some in-game stuff. One thing I did want to show you guys, though, are the videos, and they are awesome. So this first one, of course I'm going to go over this one. This is the Barbarian. My boy, the Barbarian, uh, featuring the Whirlwind uh, skill. So Whirlwind is an iconic Diablo 2 skill, of course it is, wherein the Barbarian spins fiercely and damages any enemies in his path. So let's go ahead and check out the video, and it's going to show us the differences of the rooms. Here's your regular Whirlwind. Ta-da! This next one, this is the Crimson Rune. He shoots bits of rock and gravel and deals area of effect damage. Indigo, he spawns smaller Whirlwinds that deal direct damage. Pretty sweet. Here is Obsidian, and this gives the Barbarian immunity to immobilizing effects. He's like, you can't stop this! Golden, reduced to fury cost, and loogies. Uh, <laughs> so we can spam these little ones. Man, that just looks so sweet. Woo! And the last one, Alabaster. Uh, he deals critical strikes that confuse enemies, and the enemies attack their allies because they are confused. Pretty awesome, huh? Pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> they got the uh, the monk. Oh, no, this isn't the monk. Oh, this is the monk. Okay, the monk, the sweeping wind. Um, you guys can watch this one. Um, I think it's interesting, though, because on Crimson, for the whirlwind on the Barbarian, the Crimson Rune shoots bits of rock and gravel in every direction, dealing area of effect damage. However, on sweeping wind... Um, Crimson does something completely different. A flurry of blades increases Sweeping Wind's damage. Let's just watch this really quick. Ninja! You know what would be interesting is... I wonder if they could give you skins? Maybe you can, like, mod the game and you can create your own little skins. And uh, if that's possible, then for the monk, I would want to turn him into that little bald dude on uh, Avatar, the last airbender. <laughs> that's what he looks like. Except he has a beard. Boom! Sandstorm with the alabaster. That just looks so awesome. And then, of course, for the sorcerer, no, not sorcerer, sorry, <laughs> Diablo 2, I'm thinking of the wizard 
Um, their Crimson Room increases in damage the longer it remains in use to a cap. So I guess the Crimson does have some similarities. Damage, a little bit higher damage. On this one, he does area of, area of effect damage. Um, then, of course, here is the the Demon Hunter. I don't want to say the Witch Doctor. But I did want to show you guys the Witch Doctor because I thought this just looked ridiculously awesome. So let's look at the Witch Doctor. And this is, whoops, this, this feels this Acid Cloud. This is an Acid Cloud. Look at that scary face. All right, so the Crimson Rune, it now deals immediate damage instead of damage over time. Looks a little bit different. His Indigo Rune, wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, Indigo Rune. This does an area of effect damage. See how far it spreads out. Bubbly acid. Bubbly acid. It's obsidian. It spawns little slimies. Look at those. It's like Flubber. <laughs> Flubber and Robin Williams. And then they blow up. <laughs> the uh, the Golden Rune. Which is next. In a second. <laughs> Look at that, it's kind of yellowish. This diseases the enemies and damages them over time. A little bit different. And the last one on the Alabaster, he pukes. <laughs> Instead of summoning that giant head, he throws up himself. So if you're in, if you're in PvP and you get killed by a witch doctor because he puked on you, I think that is equivalent to a teabag. I think, uh, I think that'd be embarrassing. But anyways, guys, that's the rune stones, pretty much. Um, this is all the information they have released on it so far. Uh, pretty exciting. You know, I don't know how you're gonna come across rune stones. Maybe if they can only, you know, exclusively be dropped by bosses, or like in Diablo 2, if you just randomly come across them uh, throughout the game, and more so in in other areas uh, rather than you know just your regular uh, fighting areas. I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, anyways, guys, I was also looking on the forums today uh, to see if we could do some forum talk. Um, there were a few different threads, but I didn't find anything highly interesting today. Um, let's see. Let's see. I had Okay, this one. This is called I Had a Premonition Last Night. Uh, so basically this guy says, when I was watching Bizarre Food, within my days I had the Diablo 3 box within my grasp. And he is predicting the date to be December 6th, 2011. So, Storm US 08, if it comes out on December 6th, that would be hilarious. And I saw that on this thread there was a Blizzard post. I was like, oh, where's the Blizzard post? Maybe they said something about it. Um, but the only Blizzard post by Pashok is he is referring to Andrew Zimmerman on the TV show the guy's talking about. He says, I've seen that dude eat a scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's awesome. Doesn't really tell us anything. But hey guys, that is it for today. Go ahead and check out the Rune Stones for yourself on the Diablo 3 website. Uh, you can watch the rest of the videos. They're pretty awesome. And uh, this is Alex Deathreep, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!